you doing everybody? My name is Doug Etcha with FingersOnTheFrets.com. Thanks for tuning in. Today we are going to work on Day After Day by Bad Finger. Um, as with all the scores at FingersOnTheFrets.com, you can follow the link and go to the website and get this wonderful PDF that I just created. Um, it's a composite arrangement for acoustic guitar or electric if you want, but I play mainly acoustic. And so what I like to do is like superimpose like the slide parts or whatever, the, the fill parts, piano, whatever, into the guitar arrangement so you can play it all together. So let's get started. Um, at the beginning, um, I'm going to get a little closer so you can see what I did here. We have an E chord, E major. Uh, incidentally, the original is with the capo on the first fret. Okay, so if you want to play with the record, you might have to capo it up a bit. I put it in the key of E for my voice. Um, what we're going to do is this little bit right here. kind of matches the slide guitar part for the song, so let's try it again. Ah! And this just kind of goes up to an E, D form. One last time. Okay, so you can find that uh, in the score too, it's easy. <laughs> so it's weird to stand up like that, so yeah. I gotta redeem myself if I make a mistake. Here we go, E. I remember A sus4 to A, back to E. Pretty simple, just like basically a 1-4. I remember finding out about you. And it follows the vocal, eighth notes down here, one, two, and three, and four, and Every day my mind is all around you. Okay, pretty simple there. Now we got a B chord. I use my fourth finger, you can use third. It's an A form chord of a B. Looking out from my F sharp major. <laughs> so there's B, F sharp major. Looking out from my lonely room. Walk down here, it's an A. G sharp, F sharp. So we're gonna do, and then E, and then walk back up. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, B. Bring it home, baby, make it soon. Walk down again, and then love to you. F sharp minor 11. E over G sharp, F sharp minor 11. Alright, so let's talk about the uh, chorus there. B, no big deal, unless you can't do the bar. I can use fourth, a third, or you can do a two, three, four, and then the one here, and bar all the way across. That's like the traditional way to play those. It's okay, either way, whatever you can grab. F sharp major, and I like to do this little walk down. Walk up. Back to the B. Okay, that's the chorus part. Again, I'll say it. Um, this is my own arrangement. I created this based on the song. This is not what they're doing in the song. I mean, there's a piano parts and the bell and stuff, slide guitar, composite. I'm putting a bunch of stuff together so it's fun just as a solo piece. Okay. When the piano part comes in during the music fill, love to you. The guitar player just does this. But the piano's got this nice little fill part in there, so we'll have to work on that some other time. Does another verse, does another chorus, does another little music part. Then it's George Harrison on the slide. I put that together like this as a, a solo acoustic guitar little piece for you. Probably about an intermediate level, maybe a little more, but here we go. I'm real slow. Talk about that. Okay, E, same as the beginning. A sus. That's 
pretty much what he did on the slide guitar, but it sounds obviously a lot cooler with George Harrison doing it on slide, but we're gonna go. Uh, you could also do, sorry about that. I was thinking you could do hybrid picking maybe, if you wanna do that. I was just using the pick for the whole thing. All right, it's all notated right here. I can show you the PDF that I created. It's that measure right there. That's what we're talking about. Okay, so it's there if you need to see it. Then the second part of the solo, the, and the, what I'm gonna do here is bar the third finger at the seventh fret, and that's a D A form, right? But I got A in the bass open. So I'm gonna go. So what I like to use, do is use open strings to get my hand back and forth to, to, from different positions. We got this. And then C sharp. And that's exactly what he did at the end. He did this real nice <laughs> kind of a thing from C sharp to B, uh, G sharp. I'm sorry, C sharp to G sharp. Okay, one more time. Yeah, timing was on from that, but you get the point, okay? So that's kind of like uh, really what I started with when I did this arrangement. I wanted to make sure I could do that for everybody as a lesson because I saw other people showing the song and it's fine to just sit and just bang away on A and E but everybody can do that but not everybody's doing this I, don't, I haven't seen one person arrange it not really that hard but you just have to take the time to put it down and be able to, to show folks and that's what I like to do with fingers on the frets here is to give you something a little bit more so I hope you like this um, it's one of my favorite tunes Day After Day by Bad Finger um, they were on Apple Records, I believe, um, maybe one of the first bands to be signed by Apple Records when the Beatles put that together. Kind of sounds like, a, some of their music sounds like the Beatles to me, I don't know. And maybe a little Eric Clapton vocal line on this one. Um, okay, so that's the tune. The very last uh, four measures do that, um, love to you, and you can feel it coming to a close, and they give you this. So that's just your standard walk down. We've got A, um, E over G sharp, we already had that chord, that's your minor 11, E. When I say A, I'm sorry, I meant to say A sus 2, because you're not playing the C sharp here, it's that real drony, you got the open B and open E. One thing I'll say about that before I let you go, when you're playing these types of shapes, uh, I'm real big on, if the finger's on a string, or on a fret, you have fingers on the frets. Uh, try to leave it there and use it as an anchor point. So we've got this. Now if I use that third finger, I'll slide it up here and I'll put these guys here. I'm muting out this one with this finger. I'm muting out that fifth string gently, so. And then I bring this one here. And now I'm muting out this string with this finger. And then E. So really, if I start on here, Third finger stays, come up here. Second finger stays. Now the third finger stays. It's just how I was taught in the uh, classical guitar uh, nomenclature <laughs> or, or language or lessons, you know, to try to make it uh, easy to play and uh, easier to remember, it's easier for your hand. So um, that's Bad Finger, uh, day after day. I'll leave you with that. Um, hope to see you in another lesson. Thanks a lot.